Hello everyone. In India, every year 5th of September, we celebrate Teachers Day. As we all are aware, Teachers Day is celebrated in commemoration of the great leader Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan. He was the president of India in the tenure between 1962 to 1967. He was a scholar and a firm believer of education such that his birth anniversary came to be celebrated as Teachers Day. On this beautiful occasion, I take the opportunity to convey my heartfelt gratitude, best wishes to all my teachers who have given impeccable contribution in shaping me. Students across the country celebrate this day to pay respect and thank the teachers. Teachers are of course the backbone of our society. They spear change by shaping and building students' personality and make them ideal citizens of the country. As one looks at the great impact on the growth, development and well-being of the students, and nation, one must agree that teaching is the noble profession. Parents give birth to a child whereas teachers mold their child's personality and provide a bright future. Apart from academics, teachers as mentors stand by a student at every step to guide, motivate and inspire to become a better person. Facilitating a student with best teachers along with advanced infrastructure facility is the need of the hour. According to a survey in January 2019, approximately there were around 900 universities, 40 to 50,000 colleges and 2 to 3 lakh government and private schools in our country. The present scenario demands such a quality of teachers or mentors who are committed in shaping and building students' personality and make them ideal citizens of the country. And if we want this to happen, then we should concentrate on providing good teachers along with good infrastructure. Among professions, the noblest include medical practice as doctors, nurses and of course teaching. Each one of the above or for that matter any profession requires a person to be passionate towards it. That being the criterion in the present scenario, some people do the role of a teacher without understanding the social responsibility attached to it. Imparting knowledge to others is a noble deed and one cannot value the inputs in terms of money. Of course, we cannot generalize every teacher to be irresponsible and money oriented. Yet, there are some who care for is the salary packet at the end of every month. They do not care about the moral value additions helping students with their doubts or perhaps even learning while teaching. Simply because teaching for them is just signing their initial in the attendance register as proof of their presence in the respective school or college for collecting their dues every month or so because they have earned the status of a teacher. They do it for the hobby, livelihood and forget as is their important moral responsibility. Who is a teacher or mentor? A teacher or a mentor can be anyone, father, mother, brother, sister, grandparents and any relative, family friends, any influencer or your own academic teacher. A teacher is a person who has wisdom and morality. Now if we ask ourselves in our life during our 16 years academic study which includes our 3 or 4 year graduation, we came across around 50 teachers who taught us so many subjects. Out of these 50 teachers did we found any 3 or 4 teachers who were very close to us? To be a teacher person must be reliable and any student must be able to share his or her problem with that teacher and that teacher will help in solving it out and they never like themselves to be praised. It is the person with whom you are in touch with them even after exam. In other words, even after preparing you for the exam, they are preparing you for the life. They have helped you found a purpose in life. As a result of teacher's constant guidance has got you understand the real purpose of life. A teacher should not be money, wealth or fame oriented but thinks of a student's moral value upgradation. Most of the colleges and institutes focus only on outstanding students because they get good grades and they may be successful in future, but a teacher's job is to also concentrate on weak or below average student. Whoever has these qualities is termed to be as a teacher or mentor. If we want our country to progress in education, it is not only providing advanced infrastructure, but with the right teacher or mentor. So where there is an institution, they are supposed to be a good teacher. 
A good teacher carries a complete institution with him or her. All my fellow teachers, let's take a pledge this Teachers' Day that we all will think about this seriously and try inculcating these qualities in us. We need to continuously strive for becoming compassionate, humble and finally a good teacher. With this, I take your leave and again wish you all a happy Teachers' Day. Thank you.